Hello and welcome back to me playing Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster. After a bit of wandering, we wandered around and found an oxtail. Oxy ale? I don't know. Item unless you breathe underwater. Oxy ale. Alright, so. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh. Hopes from spreading some nonsense about star by how you saw shiny fall out of the sky. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's resurrection. Okay, so not. Here, hmm. Okay, so I need to find another town where I can buy a submarine. So that's the quest. Um, I'm going to fly around the world for a little bit. If I don't find it, then I'm going to just look up where I, where I find it. Because I'm positive that that's probably the next part of this quest, of this journey. Um, how about you guys? Uh, restore the Crystal Grace, yes. Uh, Warriors of Light. Spiffier than before, sure, sure. I'm just a farmer. Sada, yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh huh, uh huh. An airship, so they really do exist. Cool, yeah, okay. Uh, Alright, well, that was not helpful. Okay, so what's down here? Uh, that's the castle. That, um, that's there. The Elf Kingdom. This is a weird one. Interesting. Wait, 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 what's this? Is that a desert? Oh, that's a desert that the airship came from. Um, you guys aren't helpful. You gave me the thing. Okay, I have no idea. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> so I am honestly out of ideas. Final Fantasy One submarine. Submarine. Okay, so it says on rack. I've been to on rack. Yeah, I was just there. Spells to buy. Okay, so I was right. It is that town. In theory, for whatever reason. Okay, maybe I didn't talk to everybody. Maybe I missed a person. Uh, let's go and visit it again. Uh, we'll also stay the night, because we can.
Alright. Okay, so south, east. Is there actually a path? Ooh, there's a person there. Ooh, you. Ooh, what are you? My name's Cop. Hmm? You want to hear about the shiny object I saw? I think it fell somewhere near the waterfall to the north. No one believes me, but I think it was some kind of mechanical creature. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, hey, there's a submarine. You have Oxyale. I do. You are the ones I've been waiting for. Please save the mermaids. Okay, that was not creepy at all. Get in the barrel. Ooh, white sharks. Ooh. All right, let's see here. Nothing that way. The store there. Sorry, just kind of scouting my way. Up and down. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's go up, I guess. We'll go up first. That seems like a good way of going. Probably should have rested at the end, but honestly, eh. Alright, what's... Uh, nothing in that, nothing in those, so I can just go... Oh, there's chest there. Okay, so there's another chest there. Doing too bad damage against these guys. Uh, what is it? Sahagan Prince? Sahagan. Items. Heal myself. Yeah, sure. That seems good. Uh, you could use a heal too. Heals for everybody. Sea scorpion and a sea troll. And of course I am poisoned. Mm. Um, I guess since we're close to the down, we'll go down. side of this pool thing. Oh. What? Water elemental and a water naga. Yeah, they're fine on hit points. Actually, you know what? I could just use regular potions to top them up. Um... Two on you, and yeah, that's good. All right, so let's do some scouting. It's a way down. Anything else around here? Oh, this is the only way to go, actually. All right, well, we'll go. Sword's actually really nice. Glad I got it. Ow. That really hurt, ghost. Items. Oh, 
Alright. And... Do Thandara on them. And we Thandara them. Cool. Of course, nothing in it. Okay, so she actually cast spells, or one of them cast spells. Oh, back to sharks. <laughs> sharks are fine. They're they're nothing important. go this way. Okay. Oh man, ghosts again. See what has chests? Oh, that also has chests. That has chests. All of them have chests. Perfect. Monsters! Yay! Auto battle so convenient.
more water elementals. I think I was gonna tell another D&D story. Oh, I know. I was gonna tell... I have a lot of stories, and it's tough to keep track of them sometimes. I remember... Uh, once... We decided to play... Uh, instead of D&D, we played Mutants and Masterminds. That's uh, basically just a superhero game. Basically, you make some sort of superhero, there's a league of superheroes, things like that. Um, giant Spokes. Guess that Oh, actually, uh red wait. Can Sir. Description. Gloves that cast saber when used. Oh, okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um, oh, so anyway, so we played Mutants and Masterminds. And uh, we each made a character. Now, I would like to point out that I don't intentionally try and make overpowered characters. It is just the way I make characters because I see, I kind of see connective little tissues between abilities and things like that occasionally. I don't do it often. Most of the time, I intentionally make weaker characters just because I have more fun with the weaker characters. If you're overpowered all the time, there's not a really a point in playing. So, um, we'd never played. We were going through and looking at different things, and I noticed one of this superpowers. Um, that you could take was to was to increase your threat range and you could take it multiple times It was so ridiculous uh, We're gonna try and uh, Thundar them oh, good Yeah, you could take it multiple times uh, up to a max of something And so I I was looking at it, and my friend who wanted to be basically uh, the big beefy character that he essentially wanted to be Juggernaut um, was looking through. He did not see the uh, beauty of that, of the increased crit range. Uh, but I did. I was like, ooh, that's a, that's a juicy, juicy uh, um, ability. And I, I had to convince him, convince him to take, uh, to take that ability. I was, I was so upset. So on a D20, his critical range was like, if he rolled a 13 on a D20, on a 20 sided die. That is almost a 50% crit rate, crit threat. I mean, that's what? Uh, 65... 65% 65 chance to not, so that's a 35% chance to crit? That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, that's how he played his character, and then he also took a bunch of, what he was interested in was, like, damage mitigation and strength and things like that, and I'm like, okay, whatever. Oh, 
My wife still claims that that was actually my character that he just happened to be playing. I design a lot of characters. Lots of characters. Um, he's the same guy who, in our current campaign, he is playing a barbarian, but not as good as my barbarian. Um, no chests. Oh, there's the crystal right there. Uh, so I need to go down that way. We'll go in there. We'll go up and around and perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, he doesn't play barbarian nearly as good as me. But yeah. You know, it's just one of those things. Uh, the heroes in for the Mutants and Masterminds campaign, I made a essentially the Flash. Uh, and I made him pure for one ability. One ability only. Um, I watched... Uh, I really like the DC animated movies. I find that they are actually very good. Uh, they are much better than any, anything that DC's actually come out with for actual movie movies. Use that. Um, but I recently seen one of them. Um, one of them, I think it's the one where they go to Crisis on Infinite Earths. And, uh, in that one, Somebody is harassing one of them, and Flash literally runs, grabs the person, runs them out to the ocean, and just drops them off in the water, and then runs away. And because he's a speedster, he can do that, and I wanted to base my character off of that. So I chose a whole bunch of grappling rules, I chose super speed, and for fun, um, which came up later, uh, I chose some magical boots. I guess they were technology boots, but technology boots that would, um, when I turned them on, would create a platform, would create just a instantaneous uh, floating object wherever my boots were, bottom of my boots were. So I could literally run up into the sky, even if there was nothing to run on. So I was, I had a lot of fun with that character, although my friend's juggernaut just absolutely, absolutely tore through everything. We were, the rest of us were just basically side characters to him, which I kind of regret. I honestly regret uh, helping him make that character. All right. The last couple of fights against these guys have not gone well for me. <laughs> I've beaten them. Huh. You humans do impress. I would not have thought to see you here. But do you really think you can defeat the Fiend of Water here in my own domain? Fools, the dark depths shall be your tomb. Um, let's go with... Uh, yeah, let's just go with that, magic. Go with Thundaka. That's fine. Ooh, that's kind of. Well, that was unfortunate. I didn't realize I could miss. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm 
Glad I bought a bunch of these things. Okay, so Phoenix down you. Okay, that's good. Uh, items, Phoenix down you. I do kind of wish... Seriously? At least there was only one death compared to there usually being all but one death. Okay. Alright. Uh, revitalizing waters. I'm guessing that's an achievement to kill off that guy. I think I really hated my black mage and red mage. Or black wizard, red wizard. Okay. Well, let's uh, save it. And I guess we'll call it there for now. Um, thank you for joining me on this journey as we play through Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster. Hope everybody's having a good rest of your day and uh, enjoy and be careful out there. It is I don't know what part of the world you're in but man, it is real treacherous out there. Uh, yeah. 